a man. I'll never be a famous math whiz because I'm not d good at doing any math. I'm sad. Taylor, what has bequeathed thine good spirit? Okay, Lord. Art thou saddest? Look, look. I get that you're studying Shakespeare, and that's fine, but I need you to stop acting like an idiot for like five seconds. Fine. Sorry, princess. What's your deal? Well, gosh dang, my good friend McLaurin. I'll never be a famous math whiz. Not one all know. I'm not good at math. Hey, buck up, chump. We still have time. We have, we have plenty of time to become math famous. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I invented time travel today. Excuse me, sir, would you like tea or coffee? Oh, neither, I'll just, I'll just have water. Coming right up. <coughs> ah, there, there you are, sir. Thank you, Jeeves, that'll be all. I will be on my way, sir. Alright. Hey, Taylor, was there something you wanted to ask me? I feel like there was, but I can't quite remember. Oh, yeah. How did you invent time travel? Electricity hasn't even been discovered yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just... Oh. Really? That much corn syrup? Yeah, it was pretty wacky. I didn't know you could use a pigeon that way. You'd be quite surprised what you could do with a pigeon. They typically like using their forces to transport the dead across the river sticks into the underworld. They were enticed by my searing surprise. Oh, yes, of course. But how can we better use this information? How can we utilize time travel? I don't know. Maybe we could go back in time to when we figure it out, so that way we don't waste our time thinking about it. Okay. Much, much later. Yes. I got it! What is it, old Chad? What if... We go back in time, kill Isaac Newton, and steal his works, and publish them as our own. So that way we ourselves are the famous math wizards. But yes, of course! McLaurin, you're a genius! I'm absolutely certain that nothing will go wrong, and we may or may not alter the future. Alright, Taylor. You ready to become math famous? I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, McLaurin. I'm a bit nervous. This is murder, after all. What if we get caught? We won't get caught. We have time travel and pigeons. Now let's go kill Isaac Newton. I'm starting to get tired and my programs are on tonight. Oh, that's right. Friends is on tonight, isn't it? Alright, let's do it tomorrow then. The next day. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Joey and Chandler. Always getting into semantics. I'll bet after this show's over, they're all gonna be very successful actors. I don't see why not. They're all so talented. <sighs> Alright, you ready to go rob a man of his life's work? I mean literally, because we're going to kill him and take everything he's ever worked for. I'm ready when you are, old chap. Let's go. Whoa! God! Oh, there's, oh, there's feathers everywhere. Do the pigeons always do that? I don't know. I've never done this before. What do you mean? How do you know you invented time travel then? It's just one of those things that you know, you know? Okay, sure. Uh, how, how do we even know that it worked? Like, everything looks the same. Ooh! Yeah, it worked. Oh, perfect! We're just in time. Yes. Let us unsheathe our daggers, brother. Exposing bone and ripping flesh from okay, flesh. Okay, seriously. Why do you keep doing that? What? That like that Shakespearean thing that you keep doing? Like I understand you're like recording it and all that, but no one talks like that. So can you just please stop? I enjoyed doing it, but whatever. Hey, when this is over, you want to go back in time and kill Shakespeare? I mean, not really, but like I guess I'll think about it. All right, let me know then. Oh, he's home alone. Now we can do it. No, Taylor, the sign says, don't kill him. Oh, 
Damn, you're right. Now what are we good? You idiot! We came this far. You think we're gonna stop just because a sign told me not to? What? So now you're just gonna be a guy who goes around ignoring signs? You gonna be like that? Oh my god! I swear to God, if I could go back in time, I would go to when you were a kid and just kick you in the ribs. So you're saying that you'd go to Kilbanan, Kowal, Argyle, Scotland, and you'd kick me in the kit in the ribs when I was a child? That is exactly what I'm saying. Great. You're admitting that you'd physically assault a child. I'm time traveling with a child assaulting maniac. You know what? I actually hate you. Could you just go in there and kill him already? I gotta be back in time for Seinfeld at 6 p.m. on TBS, and I do not want to miss it. Oh my god, you and your programs. You know what? I don't care. Let's just go in there and do it. Okay, okay, Mr. Bossy Pants. That was surprisingly easy. The man actively tells everyone when he's alone, and he keeps his front door unlocked. Weird. Yeah, I know, right? Dude, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Keep it down! We just broke into a man's house, you have to be quiet. Oh yeah, my B, dude. How are you the one who invented time travel? I got pigeons and corn syrup in mass, bro. I got pigeons and corn syrup. Oh my god. There he is! So, how are we gonna do it? What, you didn't bring a gun? A gun? You don't even know what a gun is, do you? A gun is one of... That's not important. We gotta figure out a way to do it without a gun. Yeah, I guess. We could sneeze into his pasta. You're just full of stupid ideas today, aren't you? He'd get really sick. Everyone knows you get sick from being possessed by demons, not sneezins. But like, it's worth a try. Also, what's a sneezin? Never mind that you! But get to it if it'll get you to be quiet. Wow. He is really into inventing calculus, isn't he? It really looks like it. Oh, look! He's going for a bite! Oh my god! It worked! I can't believe it. One of history's most brilliant minds. Killed by a sneeze. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Sure. Alright, go steal his book. We're gonna be math millionaires, McLaurin. We're gonna be history's hypest! Yeah, that. Oh, bad news, man. Book still isn't finished. What are we gonna do? Don't worry about it. I'm sure that we can patch up whatever we don't have once we get home. Yeah, let's go home. Do you have a... do you have any extra pigeons? I wouldn't be a mathematician if I didn't have pockets full of pigeon and corn syrup, my guy. To the future we go! Whoa! Oh, feathers. Ah, the present. Just like I remembered it. McLaurin, can I ask you something real quick? Yeah, what is it, bud? Um, this isn't what you remember the present to be like, is it? Now that you mention it, there is a sheer lack of people. Yeah, right? Yeah. 
Also, I think there's giant lizard monsters everywhere. I know! Where are we? What did you do? I don't know. Uh, the, the pigeon said that we'd get to back to the exact same spot that we left. I don't know what happened. Uh... Oh. This isn't that, though. This is giant lizard monster world. Yeah, obvious. We can't be math famous to a society of giant lizard monsters. What do we do? It's coming. Run! Uh. McLaurin, I don't want to die. Not on my watch, you won't. I think now would be a good time to use that pigeon. You're probably right. Oh God, McLaurin! My only tool for achieving my ultimate goal of becoming math famous, but not only giving him any credit or benefits in the process, but also not mentioning him at parties and tea parties. Whatever will I do without him? Hey there, Taylor. Why so glum? McLaurin! Taylor! McLaurin! McLaurin! You're alive! Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Not like I was devoured by a horrible lizard monster or anything. Yeah, that'd be ridiculous. Now, can I just say that I think that the Newton idea was one that was, no, good on paper, bad in practice. You know, I think you're right. What should we do now, though? We could try to find someone else to kill. Like you? You mean like you, Taylor? Oh god, no, not me! Why would you think it's me? I'm not even that famous! Wait a second. Earlier you said you didn't have a gun. Why do you have one now? I, I don't know. I just kind of found it in the couch cushion over here. Why was there a gun in the couch cushion? There's, like, one back here, too. Why is there a gun in my house? I don't know. You want it? Yeah, fine. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, this guy. James Gregory. Uh, I'll bet he'd die if you just sneezed on him. That's a fair observation. And look, a fellow Scotsman. Oi, laddie! Alright, let's kill him. Yeah, let's. Weird. Man, what a weirdo. Hey, does this place look familiar to you? Oh, yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Eh, it's probably nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Alright, did you bring the gun this time? You know it. Alright, hand it to me. What? I said, hand me the gun. No. Are you being serious right now? What? I was the best shot at pumpkin shoot back in uni. P p pumpkin shoot? Yeah, it, classic Scottish tradition. Go and shoot pumpkins. That that has that has no relevance to this. This is this is that is pumpkin shooting, not not killing humans. Well, sometimes we'd carve these silly faces into them, and they looked a lot like people. Sometimes. Uh, again, that has no relevance here. I'm just saying that sometimes pumpkins can look like people. No, they cannot. And also, what what kind of, what kind of gun is that? What kind of gun is this? I found it in the future. You weren't paying attention, so I took a quick pick stop. What? What kind of... That's not a gun? It, bop, bop it Extreme 2? It's a future gun. You wouldn't get it, man. Okay, can you just... Can you just hand me the gun so that I can kill James Gregory and we can steal his works and publish them as our own? So is that your plan? <gasps> James Gregory! Inventor of... Something to do with math! We were just headed to the market. Why do you have that gun, I think? Bar bar bargaining? I 
know why you're here. You're here to steal my life's work. No, 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 no. No. You're not here for my amazing telescopes or my mathematics. You're here for my futuristic invention. What is, what is he getting at? You're here for something much more sinister than those things. You're here for my banana wreck! What? My banana rack! The thing for holding bananas on a large hook! It's amazing! It allows for not, them not to bruise and whatnot. It is yellowness and not brown. It's amazing bananas. Hook? It's perfect. That is, without a doubt, the only reason why we're here. I knew it! That makes you thieves. Here in Scotland, there's only one thing we do with thieves. We kill the heck out of them! Oh, oh God, no! No more! I'm done with you! Pigeon, attack! Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah, now we can steal his works. Are you coming, or...? How long did you know you could do that? What? The lizard monster portal thing. Oh. I don't know. Just kinda happened. Good luck on my part, am I right? What?! Alright, time to head back. Alright. Uh, you got the pigeon? The... the pigeon? Yeah. The pigeon that we need to get back to the future. You know, that pigeon? Yeah, yeah, of, of, of course, the pigeon, so... Uh, my, my you know, the so pigeon, hard. the one thing that we need to get back to our own timeline so that we can sell James Gregory's book and publish it as our own and say it's our own work. You know, the one thing we need to get back to the future, that pigeon! Uh... Uh... I think I used my last one. Oh, McLaurin... <sighs> I'm sorry, pal. It's my bad. Well, on the bright side, buddy, that corn syrup that we used for the pigeons, it hasn't yet been invented, so we can't age because of the corn syrup and our souls being connected to it. So, at least we'll stay young. So we're stuck here. Fuck up, chump. Could always hit up the brothels, bring back a few ladies. And cause, like, a lizard brothel future? Good god, no, we have to stay here where we can't affect the timeline. So we just wait for 40 years. I guess. Well, I mean, at least I can start reading up on what we'll be so famous for in 40 years. Yeah, and I got my sweet fidget spinner. Can I see that for a second? Back to reading.